treating workers like cattle. That's the verdict of MPs on Mike Ashley's Sports Direct company. A report by the Commons Business Committee says the Newcastle United owner's firm profits from treating workers badly. One employee even reportedly gave birth in a toilet because she was too afraid to call in sick. Mr Ashley, though, says he wants to treat staff with dignity and respect. Our political editor, Richard Moss, reports. A big figure who's made big profits. But today's report says Mike Ashley's company is driving down costs through unacceptable working practices. Sports Direct is already being investigated for failing to pay the minimum wage. But the report has more revelations. There are claims that shop staff were clocked off and then forced to work on for no pay. The warehouse staff were penalised for everything from taking time off ill to taking a short break to get a glass of water. And that some of the women in the warehouse were offered permanent contracts in return for sexual favours. The committee chairman says Mr Ashley, who visits the warehouse weekly, must take responsibility for conditions staff have been forced to work under. They are more in keeping with a Victorian workhouse than a modern retailer for Britain in 2016. And the job of Mike Ashley is to be held accountable. Um, he is in charge and he needs to make sure that he acts quickly to put in place good, quick recommendations that improve conditions for workers in his company. But if you remember, it took Ian Wright's committee months to get Mike Ashley to even show up to a hearing. So what chances there are forcing him to make changes? I can't imagine that it's good for business to sp see Sports Direct's name dragged through the mud like this. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to meet him publicly. When he does something correct and appropriate that helps workers, we'll praise him. That should be good for business. When he doesn't, if he drags his feet, we will publicly criticise him. And I can't think that'd be good for business at all. Mike Ashley is reviewing practices in his company and has already raised pay to ensure staff get the new national living wage. But is any of this publicity bothering shoppers in Newcastle? I think it's really bad not to, to pay the minimum wage. It does, but it's cheaper than other shops unfortunately, so I suppose you've got to do what you've got to do really. It's like if you're not going to treat the people that work there with respect then it's not fair on them. Sports Direct remains a big presence in our shopping centres. There's been some damage done though. Shares in the company have fallen by two thirds in the last year. Richard is here with me now. Sports Direct in the spotlight, Richard, but unions say other companies need tackling as well. Yes, well, an agency staff working at Sports Direct's warehouse in Derbyshire are effectively on zero-hour contracts. Uh, they're only guaranteed around seven weeks' work a year, but they're expected to be available at any moment. So if they try and fill some of these gaps with work elsewhere, unions say they can actually be dismissed for missing just one shift. But they say that's far too common in other companies in the North East, particularly in the automotive industry. Now, they're working with employers on this, but they also want the government to step in and work with them to make these sort of zero-hour contracts illegal. Sadly, we see people waking up on a morning on these contracts, attending, going to work, not knowing if there's a day's work there for them. Then, if there is a day's work, have they got two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours? It's, it, it, it's disgraceful. It, it, it's disgusting. And in 2016, this, this shouldn't be allowed to, to happen. Now, Mike Ashley will report back to the committee before September on other changes he's making. The unions are quite clear, though. They want fixed hour contracts. They say that would give dignity and respect that Mike Ashley talks about, but they say hasn't delivered. Okay, Richard, thanks for that.